Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. I'm at an estate sale at a funeral home. This is going to be really interesting. I think that's an embalming table. Crazy creepy. There's something underneath there. Crazy, crazy creepy. It's beautiful. I'm not really seeing any funeral -y kind of stuff except for the embalming table. <clears throat> Senora, that was my name. Yes, these are funeral home calendars. Take a closer look at those in a minute. Hmm. Lots of loot here, too. Wow. Funeral home and downstairs and Throw them all on the floor. Let's 
ainda. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneak behind you. Thank you. This is the attic mm. of the funeral home. I'll let you go. I'll just check in with you. I'll, I'll catch up with you. Not sure I'm going to find anything interesting up here either. Let me check. Alright, so this is creepy, but I am not going to buy it. <laughs> you know, if it was in a really cool old bottle, I would buy it. But no. But still. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's worth getting. It's powder. It's not liquid. I might have to get that just because it's weird. <laughs> I'm going in. Ooh, look at how gross that is. Okay. This is probably the cleanest area. They said that the windows in here were open for like 10 years. Already I want to sneeze. These gloves are hot. I don't usually wear gloves, but they're hot. Well, that's kind of neat. 
All right, guys. Look what Somewhere in here, there's a bag, he said. Fill a bag for $5. I don't know where these bags are. I can't even read this stuff. I think I'm just going to take it. Because I like it anyway. Take it and throw it away at home. shower before I go back to the studio. Huh? Oh, look at this torn up dictionary. Oh my god. Yep. Thank you. I don't know what these are. I'll take them for now. Look at this messed up book. Uh, uh, do I want to dig? Yeah. Vintage Christmas tree. So, the excitement is over a femora that I can use in art. If I said Christmas, I might want them. Not yet. I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm <laughs> He said it's pretty disgusting up there. Same comparison to this? <laughs> this <laughs> isn't the grossest sale I've ever been to. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Although it is the only one where I've been able to buy embalming fluid, so. You know, uh, you know thank God. <laughs> I bought a coffin here yesterday, so. Oh, 
Did you really? Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, that would be fun. You buy your coffin at a reduced rate, right? I literally don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anything really here. I mean, funeral wise. Oh, but I do love all this paper. Am I weird or what? Okay, I've got a whole bunch of those power of attorney forms. I don't need any more. What are these? Four-hour service. Those are fun. I'm gonna start your business for you. <laughs> I'm on um, like 68th and Lorraine. There's a funeral home in the house that's like in a state sale right now. It's like you can't even imagine the stuff. <clears throat> yeah. It was my treat on the way home from the hospital. I think I have. Stuff like that, you. About it. Like, yeah. Some chests, you know, like those trunks I just sent you. I mean, it's cool if you want to refurbish them. Super cool. There's a whole bunch of those. Yeah. I know. I'm in front of a big dresser right now. <sighs> window. I don't think you guys can you see. I don't know if you can tell how warped this window is. Can you see? I don't even know, but it, it doesn't appear to be broken, which is the most bizarre thing ever. I don't know. It goes here and then it goes in and up and then back in again. <coughs> My allergies are not happy here. So I am probably not going to go upstairs, as fun as that would be, but the uh, estate sale people said that the upstairs was really gross. Um, so I'm going to take their word for it. Wow. It's really dark in here. You guys aren't seeing it as dark as it actually is. But, yeah, look at that. Plus, there's signs everywhere. Enter at your own risk. I mean, it's pretty messed up. Look over here. <laughs> What's really sad is I bet this building is going to come down. And it's really a shame. Because it's a really... It's a very cool old building, and it's just quite a shame. That's a neat piece. And old skates. Huh. Let me show you the, the stairs on this other. Well, look at this. It's a bathroom. <laughs> it's like wandering around in abandoned buildings, you know. And just certain excitement to it, but it's just gross. Just gross. I'm not going up, but these are the stairs. Wow. Wow. Like you can actually go upstairs, but I ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I wonder what's back there. Ooh, creepy stuff. I actually believe that I visited the funeral of a friend here several years ago. Very interesting little home funeral home. Which now, obviously, after going through it, um, I can tell that it was um, like a family-run thing. Because the upstairs they lived in had an office and stuff, but they lived up there. And then that building was an old, well, I don't know if it was an old church. I don't, no, it wasn't. But it was an old warehouse. You saw a lot of it, but it was in complete and utter disrepair. 
Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear my voice. My allergies are not happy. <laughs> um, but I picked up some interesting things. <laughs> so that was really very interesting. Um, it's funny, I told a couple of people that were complaining about the situation, you know, um, and I'm like, this is not the grossest sale I've ever been to. <laughs> The only sale I've ever been to, though, that had embalming powder and embalming fluid that I could purchase. It's too bad it wasn't really vintage stuff. I did get that little jar of embalming uh, powder, though, just because it was unusual. Um, I got a whole bunch of um, ephemera, things that, you know, had the funeral home's name on it. I picked up some <clears throat> casket um, catalog sheets. Um, so that was all unusual and different. I'll try to show those to you later. Um, in the warehouse thing, I picked up some books. I didn't, I don't think I got it on video, but I picked up this book for a big, huge, um, book on health and stuff with some really cool pictures on it. So I got that. Um, I paid more for the stuff at the warehouse than I did in the house. And the guy said that the warehouse stuff they were trying to clear out and it was like $5 a bag. But in the end, I guess what I had might have you know, been the equivalent of two bags. I'm happy with what I got. I just thought it would be a little bit less expensive because they were trying to get rid of it. How and, and it's paper. Nobody wants to paper like I do. Um, so, yeah. So usually I can get paper crazy dirt cheap. Um, <clears throat> the... Uh, what was I going to tell you? Oh, so one of the people, you know, I couldn't make it here yesterday. So one of the people that was there, I, I was saying something about, you know, there wasn't a lot of weird stuff or whatever, but I did get embalming powder. And she said, yeah, I bought a casket here yesterday. It's still in my car. I haven't taken it out yet. So I guess that's a pretty good deal, you know, if you can get a casket uh, on the cheap, right? Um, yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if I'd want to get a casket and hang on to it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> when I get home, I will show you what I got. All right, so I have the haul from that funeral home. <laughs> I am filming, obviously, on my porch. There is a storm brewing, so there's some wind kicking up. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to talk loudly. I just didn't want to take all this stuff into my house. I got to get it into my car and get it out. The lion's share of what I picked up at the funeral home was um, funeral home paperwork. And, um, you know, I have yet to see what kind of comps I could possibly get off of these. Um, but, you know, it was unusual, it was weird, <laughs> so that's what I was looking for. I was kind of hoping to find some, you know, the little funeral flags, you know, some other funeral home type paraphernalia, but I did not find those things there. But I did find a coffin catalog cell sheets, <laughs> so I got a bunch of those. Alright, <laughs> some other stuff that I picked up there were this clergy record. Prearranged funeral instructions. And then this doesn't have anything to do with funerals. I found it in their warehouse, but I thought it was a cool sheet. It's actually like a card stack. Here's, I got several of those. A whole bunch of them. <clears throat> I thought those would be fun for art and, you know, junk journals, stuff like that. All right. I, you know, I'm a little odd, right? Obviously, if I went to a funeral home <laughs> for an estate sale, I got excited about it. Um, but I picked this up in the uh, in that warehouse area. Um, the inside battery compartment is very clean. It does need to be cleaned up just a little bit. And something's missing off the back. I don't know what that is. But I thought it was cute. I mean, for, for display. I usually pick this stuff up for display purposes. And if it works, that's just a bonus. All right, this was also over in the warehouse area. And this is just an old darkened dictionary of radio words and terms and I love this kind of stuff wait till it goes by for artwork um, collage that sort of thing I really enjoy it um, also included 
were some what I call inclusions, little written notes, which I think are always fun. I'll have to take a look at those later. You just never know what you're gonna find at sales. <laughs> so at that warehouse, I picked up this pile of old papers as well. And interestingly, I didn't, I'm not gonna show it to the camera, but on the top of this pile of paperwork was a social security card. <laughs> Yeah, I will destroy that properly, um, but very interesting. I haven't gone through them yet. I love that kind of stuff. In the warehouse section, I also got this beat up old dictionary. It's missing its cover, but again, for art, love it. I picked up this picture. It's not in the greatest condition, but I got it because it's an old picture of a woman with a Christmas tree. Um, vintage Christmas, yeah. I'll take it apart, see if it's salvageable. Over in the warehouse area, I needed something to carry my stuff. So I found this old metal bucket. Inside it has uh, some uh, rusty bits and some clothes pins. Didn't need it at all, um, but you know, hey, I needed something to carry my stuff. All right, so now we have a train going by. <laughs> I found this at the funeral home. What an odd thing to find at a funeral home. But again, it was a funeral home house so the funeral home and the embalming place and all of that was downstairs and the family lived upstairs um, this was made in Taiwan so that would have been probably the early 80s um, I liked it so I grabbed it I often pick up scrapbooks when I see them usually of children's cards and children's things but so I was attracted to this and I grabbed it only to discover that it's a sympathy scrapbook, which is quite apropos for a funeral home though, don't you think? But that's what it is. But obviously it was from the family, but I think it's very fascinating that they did a sympathy scrapbook. Um, they did take the death notice out, I think, of the from the front of it. There are receipts in the front of this scrapbook for um, the cemetery <laughs> plot. <laughs> um, what else do we see here? The florist, you know, stuff like that. All that kind of funeral stuff. I'll have to look at it more closely later and see if there's anything really interesting in there. There was a lot of antique sheet music upstairs in the home and I have still a lot of antique sheet music here somewhere in my house that isn't even at the studio yet so you didn't really pick up a whole lot but I liked the cover of this and this one so I grabbed those just those two tucked in the scrapbook was an envelope full of old pictures you guys know how much I love my old pictures so I grabbed a Grab that. Well, actually, it came with the scrapbook. <laughs> so that was a nice get. This item is going to be really hard to show you. Um, I picked this up in the warehouse area. It's a library of health book. It's huge. It's falling apart, which is great for me because then I don't worry about using it in art. But it has... Oh, let's do it this way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold this up. It has great illustrations. Look at that. Isn't that great? That's going to be so cool to use. All right, I got one part of it loose. Actually, it was already loose. I just realized it. <laughs> but look. Look at the full color picture. Look at this. How to examine the urine. I mean, this is a great, great book. <laughs> By the way, that book is a 1920 edition. There was an actual funeral um, program or whatever, funeral list for a funeral from 1989 in there. So, with that. I don't know what other kind of business was going on there. Um, it was owned by the same people, obviously, because they were doing both places, the warehouse and the house. <clears throat> but there were lots of these pads of paper from a title company. This was a power of attorney. And then there's a whole box full of these forms for sales or use tax. I just love forms. So. 
<laughs> it's ephemera. It's ephemera. I'm getting it. There was a whole box of these over there at that warehouse, too. This is State of Ohio um, Bureau of Motor Vehicles forms. A whole box full of those. I picked up some smalls there. Believe it or not, I got some salt and pepper shakers from the funeral. Oh, his little tail came off. I don't think it was broken when I bought him. Aw, little puppy. Hopefully it's in there and I can repair him. But they're funeral home dogs. A little Santa clicker. Whole stack of religious prayer cards that are unprinted. Postage stamps. This is a certificate for the National, what does it say? National Funeral Directors Association having to do with music licensing. I don't know, it said funeral on it, I grabbed it. <laughs> More funeral paperwork. Certificate of ownership, I don't know what that's about. Pre-need authorizations for funerals. Laws and administrative rules about uh, embalming and funeral directing. I'm oh, sorry, I had to have it. I'm not really sure what these would have been for, but I like the uh, religious images inside of it. There was there were several of those. I only picked up one. More of these. Got a whole bunch of these to prove to. I guess it's to prove to employers that uh, you were at the funeral. More funeral papers. <laughs> Request for the copy of a death certificate. <laughs> All right, so that <coughs> so that does it for all of my stuff from the funeral home. Um, I spent fifteen dollars on all the stuff that I purchased there with 10 of it being spent in the warehouse, and I felt like they charged me too much for that paper stuff that nobody else was going to want, but, you know, whatever. Um, although, it probably has some value, so they might have also known that, you know, but nobody's going to take it but me, because I'm weird. <laughs> um, anyway, my prize, <laughs> and I'll insert a picture. <laughs> I picked this up. A jar of embalming powder. I was really excited about it because it's very weird and very macabre and I thought it might have pretty good value on it maybe. I passed on some of the newer bottles of liquid embalming and I went with the powder thinking it's powder. <laughs> well anyway, <laughs> the heat of the last few days melted the embalming powder and it got on stuff and it smells awful it's not formaldehyde it's a new um supposedly safer formulation i did look <laughs> anyway so i don't have my embalming powder i had to get rid of all of that stuff and send a lot of the paperwork that had it on it so anyway <laughs> that was my trip to the uh, funeral home Hey guys, my content is not normally this weird. I like uh, estate sales, rummage sales, flea markets, um, antique stores, that sort of thing. If you like that sort of comment, please be sure to uh, subscribe, hit the bell so that you know when I go live or post new content. Please like the video and leave a comment. If you don't know what to say, just say hi. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.